Okay, today we're going to be looking at getting user input, but not just, uh, you know, one character or a string or even a line. We're going to get multi lines of text from a user. Uh, there's multiple ways you could do this, but a lot of them require like using cat or something like that. And then when the user's done typing, they have to hit control D, which is inconvenient for people who aren't used to, uh, you know, shell environments. You just want to be able to ask them, enter something. And what we're going to do today is basically uh, when they're done, they just hit enter uh, twice. So whenever there's a blank line that they hit enter, then it's done capturing the variable or the input, putting it into a variable, and then we can do something with it. So let's go ahead and create our script. I'm going to use Vim as my text editor, but you use whatever you want. And I'll just call this um, input.sh. Okay, we're going to start off with a shebang line. So bin bash, because this is a bash script. Uh, also, this code will be up at pastebin. The URL for that will be this right here. I'll put that in the link in the description of this video. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with our script. I'm going to create a function. That way we can call this more than once within a script. So we're going to say uh, function get input. And then after that, we're going to type in echo. Actually, I should put that in the function. Let's go ahead and say get input. Okay, so we've created an empty uh, function here and we're calling it. And in here, we're going to say echo, please enter some text. Now, you may want to tell them when they're done, press enter twice, something like that. You can put that in the message. Uh, but what we need to do is we're going to create a variable, and then each time they hit enter, we're going to add that line to the variable. But since we're doing this in a function, and we might want to do it more than once in our script, we want to make sure we clear out that function or that, that variable. So what we're going to use is unset. Unset is going to create the variable empty if there, it doesn't exist, but if it already exists, it's just gonna clear it out. And we're gonna call our variable user input. Now we're gonna do a while loop, while read line do and done. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna loop through what the user is typing and we're gonna use our user input variable. And we're gonna do is plus equals. So we're gonna plus equals, we're gonna say dollar sign line and give it a new line each time they do that. Otherwise, the text they give us, even if they hit enter, it would put it all on one line. We're saying here, so basically as they type, every time they hit enter, that's a new line. We're gonna put it in a new line variable, and then we're gonna append that to our user input and add a new line character to the end of that. And then we're gonna say, we're gonna check the variable line, okay? And we're gonna say, if that is empty, then break out of this loop. And then when we're done, we can down here, we can say, we can put this in our function or out of our function, depending on our script. But we can say echo, you entered, oops, I didn't mean to hit enter there. You entered, and then we'll say this, and we'll say echo dash E, because there's multiple lines. If we don't do dash dash E, it's gonna show it all on one line, but here it's gonna look at these new line characters as new lines. And we're gonna say dollar sign user input. If we've done everything properly and we make our script executable, we can then run our script and it's gonna say enter some text. And I can say, hello world. I can hit enter. This is a test, enter and this is more. And if we're done, we hit enter again and it prints out, you entered and it enters our text along with the new line. Now the order of things in here may vary on your needs. Again, uh, you may want to echo out what they inputted in each uh, function, uh, but I put it outside of the function here. Just depends on your, your, your um, case scenario. Uh, also here, you can see that uh, I have added the new line before I checked if it's blank. 
So do you want that empty line in the variable or not? Here, it's gonna be in the variable. If we were to take that and put it before that, there won't be the blank line, which is probably a better way to do it. But again, it all depends on what you're trying to accomplish. So if you need to get multi-lines of input from a user, I, I find this is the best way of uh, all the options I looked at. There are options to where you can open up a text editor, Vim or Nano, and then have that all saved to a file, and then you can, uh, pull that and put it into a variable, but now you're using a text editor. You can set it to use whatever their default text editor is, or you can set one, but then you have to rely on them, hit and save and all that. You can use the cat command and dump what they're typing into uh, a variable or a file, but they have to hit control D at the end. Uh, and so I just find that awkward. Here, it's just every time they type a line, it adds it to the variable. When you hit enter again, if you didn't enter anything, it breaks out of the loop and you have your variable with the user's input. Anyway, filmsbychris.com, that's Chris of the K. There's a link in the description to my website. There you can find uh, all my videos, you can find scripts and programs I've written, and you can also find a support section where you can support me at patreon.com forward slash x 1000 or through PayPal or LibrePay. You could be the first. I've accepted LibrePay for a couple of years now because people have requested it. I don't think anybody's ever given me any money on LibrePay. You can be the first. Uh, if you can't support me that way, think about liking, sharing, subscribing. As always, I thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day.